and I'm excited to uh, check this game out. And I don't even remember anything about it. I did get the... I did get this through Keymailer, um, but I don't even remember what the game was. Um, recommended for the first playthrough. Uh, we'll just we'll do colored mode. On Steam named only move is hustle. I think you I think you mentioned that a while uh, uh, a while back, and I looked at it. I'll have to look at it again because now I don't remember what it was. Got it. Color mode. Games events take place in the United States of America in 1947. To reflect the reality of that time, Loretta contains subject matter that some may find offensive. Characters, due to their nature, age, and social status, use words, phrases, and profanities that are indicative of the time and do not correspond with modern attitudes. All events and characters depicted in the game are entirely fictitious. Any similarity to actual events or persons... Uh, living or dead are purely coincidental. Think carefully before you begin this game and play responsibly. I think that I think it had whispered to him things about himself which he did not know, things of which he had no conception till he took counsel with his great ad no king. Nineteen forty seven. Music is very uncomfortable. My name is Loretta Lou Harris. Friends call me Laura. I'm 38 years old. I was born in a small town in the south that y'all probably never heard of. The moment I turned 16, I ran away to the east coast. I'm an unemployed ornithologist and a, me and a mediocre housewife. A few months ago, my husband and I moved to a farm that he got from his parents. Life here ain't exactly simple, but we get by all the same. Up until two weeks ago, anyway, when Walter up and disappeared without a trace. Mrs. Harris, I'm Frank Chambers. I'm looking for your husband. You from the police? Now, I already talked to the sheriff. I ain't got nothing more to say. No, ma'am. I'm leading a private investigation. There are some people from New York, important people, who'd really like to have a word with Mr. Harris. I'll tell him... Oh. Uh... And who are these important people? People who Mr. Harris still needs to pay. Mind if I come in? Wipes his neck with a handkerchief. You've got uh, uh, a very lovely house, ma'am. Don't bother. I can't stand this place either. Is this Mr. Harris's house? His parents. You're not from around here, are you? Or New York, for that matter. Don't test my hospitality. Sorry. 
Didn't mean to offend. I'm paid to ask questions, you know. But my only concern is Mr. Harris. Mainly, I need to know if he's alive or dead. Um. Scribbles. This thing gets on my nerves. It's like I can hear it ticking from all the way in the bedroom. Ma'am, how long has Mr. Harris been gone for? Two weeks. Fourteen, fifteen days, give or take. Hmm. Would you like something to drink? Honestly, I was hoping you would ask. The kitchen's just down the hall. You're not going to answer that? Hello? Hello? Can I talk to Mr. Harris, please? Who's calling? May I ask who's calling? This is Patrick Fitzgerald. Hi, Jexy. How are you doing? From the Atlantic Press Publishing House. Would you kindly put Mr. Harris on the phone? It's extremely urgent. Mr. Harris isn't available. Or, Mr. Harris ain't available. It's very unsettling, you're right. He ain't here. Well, what time will he be back? Miss? This is about his book. We're still waiting for him to send the second half. Contracts are ready, but... Miss, could you please pass... Nobody has eyes. Burn it. They hung up. It happens sometimes. Afraid lemonade is all I can offer. Just water would be fine with me, ma'am. I'm a tad parched from that long drive. She has a lot of sharp objects just kind of hanging around. Tell me, ma'am, your husband. Did he happen to leave some kind of note? Maybe a letter? He didn't. At least, I ain't found nothing if he did. Neither did the sheriff's men. Hmm. An April furniture catalog. It's got all a nuclear family could need. Nuclear family? How are things with the novel? Did Mr. Harris finish it? Is Mr. Wallace interested in that too? No, ma'am. Just curious. Real pity that the true work of a detective isn't, all, isn't at all like the stuff your husband writes about. You know, in his hard-boiled detective stories. It's the laws of the genre, of the genre, Miss. It's the laws of the genre, Mr. Chambers. There's a real nice almond smell in here. Sorry. <laughs> Another month's flown by. Humidity is killing me. Wipes his face with a handkerchief. I don't think it's been this hot since spring of 39. Where's that music coming from? The fields. What the fuck? 
farmers. Walter rents out the land. Guess the music helps him pass the time. Hmm. His eyes linger on Laura's hips. She pretends not to notice. God, this is making me so uncomfortable. Quite a shame for a fine lady like yourself to be stuck out in a place like this. Here's your water. You're too kind. Thank you. Dries his lips with his sleeve. So how much so how much land you got here, ma'am? Sixty or so acres. He whistles. Don't get too excited. It was mortgaged a long while back. May I take a look at your yard? Suit yourself. What in It's the pipes. Son of a got some plumbing installed. What do you know? Sorry. I need to go down into the basement. Need a hand? Nah. No need to trouble yourself. Besides, you wanted to look around the place, didn't you? It's damp and dark down in the basement. Too damp and too dark. It smells like mold. Just like Chamber's breath, actually. I can hardly find the water pipes. At first glance, everything seems to be in order. But there's a weird buzzing sound coming from him. Looks like something's stuck in one of them. Hard to say what exactly. <coughs> Excuse me. I hold, my, I hold out my hand and touch something wet and hairy. Grab hold of it and tug. Ah. Oh. Dead rat. Could have been worse. Buzzing stopped. For now. Looks like Chambers went out to the yard. God, there's rat poison. There's a bunch of sharp objects. Tell me, Mrs. Harris, what do you think your husband might be? Got any ideas? He's in the well? I don't. No clue. I have no idea where Walter is. And I don't want to know the uh, truth be told. Well, I can understand that. Mr. Harris, he was a queer, wasn't he? Was? I mean, why else would he leave a gorgeous woman like you and his own house to go to the lamb, to go on a lamb like this? Begging your pardon, man, but must been out, must have been out of his damn mind. Anyway, ma'am, thank you for your time. Sorry you had to come all this way for nothing, but I really don't think I can help. It's fine. It's what I'm paid to do. Thanks again for the water. Sorry I bothered you. My name is Loretta Lou Harris. Friends call me Laura. I'm an unemployed housewife stuck in a hellhole. With nothing but sun and fucking wheat. Two weeks ago, I killed my husband. The guy really <laughs> said her husband's been missing. Now's my chance.
Alright. <laughs> I ain't trying to make excuses. But I think I ought to tell my story from the beginning. But I ain't looking to be forgiven by the gentlemen of the jury. I know that's impossible now. But I want to give a chance to whoever's re gonna read this to maybe understand me. It seem my relationship with Walter started to fall apart long before the day he died. Long before we moved to this goddamn farm. I even liked it at the start. Trading the bustling city life for a humble one out in the country. Of course, wishful thinking's all, all it was. Women don't got much choice in this world. Take enough wrong turns, before you know it, you're low class. And I was finally starting to see that all my turns were the wrong ones, too. There's the well. An old well. I don't know why, but it gives me the creeps. We never use it. <clears throat> Another broken creaky step. Nail sticking out waiting for the right moment to finally jab into my leg. I asked Walter to fix it. Not that that did any good. Walter wasn't a bad person. He almost never drank. And even when he did, he never got violent. In all our years together, he only hit me that one time, and he felt awful about it afterwards. Still, everything about him was starting to irritate me, and I reckon the feeling was mutual. That irritation turned into a burning hatred that only got stronger after we moved out here. His snoring was like nails on a chalkboard. He'd split anywhere, he'd spit everywhere like he was a damn camel. Food got stuck in his teeth all the time. But what really got under my skin was how he always reeked of onions all the damn time. It was this disgusting, oily smell that soaked into all the furniture. But you want to know what the weird thing was? I had never used any onions in my cooking. A bird? Shoot. Crap. Walter! Bird got into the house! Walter! No way in hell he didn't hear me. We'll never run out of dirty dishes in this house. Ouch! Cut my finger. Walt and I met toward the end of 1929. He was a little older than me. Mighty, ha mighty handsome, of course. Worked as a newspaper correspondent. But I couldn't tell you the name of what paper it was. They probably quit publishing it by... They probably quit publishing it now, anyway. <clears throat> My mother died in 1930. Walter and I got married in 1931. I got pregnant in 1933. They called it an ectopic pregnancy. And that was followed by a miscarriage. Lost my child before I ever got to be a mother. That's a triggering subject. <laughs> now, where to go? Oh, the bird. Hello? Who's calling? Are you gonna speak or what? You think this funny? Hmm. Hey Daddy, how are you doing? How's Laura? I hope y'all are doing okay. I'm doing just fine. Sorry it took me so long to write you back. Things have been pretty crazy recently. You know how it is. Did you finish your novel? I think you did. You've been working on it for so long now. 
Daddy, I've got some big news I want to talk about. I don't know when you'll get this letter, though. Anyway, Mickey and I are going to come visit. So let's talk in person. S-W-A-K. Love you, Kelly. The fuck? A car. Walter calls it the Melmoth. I don't know why. I call it Moth. To me, it's a more suitable name than for a jalopy like this. Honey, I'm going into the city, but I'll be back soon. I need to stop by the post office. What happened? Oh, what happened? Oh, it means sealed with a kiss. That must be like an old saying. First, a bird flew into the dang house. Wait, what? A bird? It's a long story. Still, I'm sorry about the plate. Don't worry about it. Let's consider it good luck, eh? Anyway, would you mind ironing my suit? I think it's in the bedroom. Take the key. Buy some milk on your way back. Not a problem. Alright, hon. I'm off. Uh. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a breaking weather update. Category 2 cyclone has been tracked approaching from the south. Meteorologists warn to expect heavy wind and rainfall in the coming days. field. Wheat, wheat, wheat. All we got is damn wheat. Guest bedroom. As I understand it, Walter's parents slept in separated rooms. One of them, one of them harsh 1910 traditions. Walter and I turned this place upside down looking for the key, but no luck. Sure feels strange you knowing I can't access certain parts of the house. Not like the house ain't big enough already. Walter doesn't like it when I enter his study when he ain't around. Ugh. Reeks of cigarettes in here. Dusty bookshelves. Walter brought half his library when we moved here. I didn't even bring a winter coat. Should leave the letter on the table. An old safe. Walter keeps the manuscript for his novel in there. Better not touch it. Not unless I want Walter to start bitching anyway. Duck. Oh, no. Hmm. Seems like I have an inventory, but I don't know how to access it. I'll never like going outside to use the comp com mode. I'll miss my old apartment. How is this? Is that a shaving kit? Two 
tooth powder, shaving brush, little mustache comb. Walter sure loves taking care of his dumb mustache. Today's a good day. Nothing saying it should rain today. The old fireplace sets the tone for the entire room. I don't like this room. It gives me a headache. Everything all right? <coughs> Franz Kafka. The Trial. Hmm. Windows have collected dirt for so many years. Tried cleaning them at first. Gave up eventually. Cups, plates, glasses. Half of them are chipped. I supposed to be doing I thought I was supposed to go to the bedroom but I don't know how to this house is falling apart a piece of the ceiling is going to fall off in one of these days kill me in my sleep I thought I was supposed to go into the bedroom. Yeah, he wants me to iron his suit. And he said it was in the bedroom. Oh, it just goes upstairs. And he said to take the key, but I don't know if I have the key. There's no way to like access the inventory. I feel like I'm missing something. Ain't nothing for me to do in the yard. Okay. But where's the bedroom? He said to take the key. Walter brought brought this Al Jo Al Jolson Mario Lanza records. Prefer classical music. I ain't in the mood to listen to that right now. Okay. Yeah, I I think it's the bag, but it like whoops. It closed out. It like doesn't do anything. Hmm. 
it said to take the key, but there's no... I don't know where the key is. The only button I can think of to press is... Escape, but that just brings up exiting. Looking up Loretta, and then looking up Loretta just brings up Elden Ring shit. <laughs> Apparently there's a boss named Loretta. Hey, there's a button now, okay. Bedroom key. Okay. <clears throat> now that we got back, uh, no, I don't want to quit. Uh, but I do want to take a quick short break. Uh, we're going to take a short break. Uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube at a later date, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell so that you know when the next video drops. Uh, uh, or you can check this out live over at twitch.tv slash big slice gaming. Um, if you'd like to join the discord, there's a link to it down in the description. Uh, if you're watching live and you want to join the discord, you can use the command uh, discord in the chat and it'll bring up the link as well. Um, but yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube at a later date, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.